Jordan Thompson, and uh, my presentation is on Vueception, using views within views. So, let's get started. A little bit about me. I'm a back-end web developer. I've only been doing Drupal for about just over a year, and um, but I've been learning lots and making some cool stuff, and I work at a digital kidna. We're a 60-person plus uh, Drupal shop located in London, Ontario. So I'll be uh, doing a short introduction of views, just a refresher, and then we'll get right into the uh, views field view module, which is how we're getting the views inside the views. And we'll do a little bit of introduction, functionality, and some applications, and there's demos for both. Okay, so views. Everyone might know about views, but they're pretty powerful. You can essentially take content and reorder it however you want and make a display and put it in blocks, pages, or uh, attachments even. So that's always fun. Um, they're pretty powerful. Uh, let's just walk through a demo real quick. So I already have a custom, or a content on this website, so we're going to make, and it has movies on it, so bear with me. So we're going to make a view called Drupal Flix, <coughs> as opposed to Netflix. And So we can filter by any kind of content we want. Uh, we can make a unformatted list of fields. So page. So in here we can just add our fields. I hope everyone can see this alright. It's not too small. So we're gonna add oh yeah, I suppose I should show what it looks like. So this is just what our movies look like. It's just the title, our image, our body. And they're just kind of like, not really sorted, just kind of there. So we were going to want to try to make that a little nicer look. So, and image, body, image, and our movie category. Picture, got the title, genre, little description. They're nicely organized. So, oh, I think I want to put the title on here. Just for the sake. Okay, so now we've gone through a little bit of views. Go back into there. Anyone else? If anyone has any questions, feel free to ask questions during the presentation. As long as I can see. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the views field view module. So essentially, the the purpose of it is that you you have a it's literally a field that you can embed a view into. So you can I personally use attachments just because it's a little cleaner. Um, so you attach the view. 
and then you can attach whatever like component of the view in there. And you can actually set, you can actually pass variables from the parent view to the child view. So you can kind of set a context for the child view inside of the parent view, in case you want your list inside of lists. Um, I feel like it's a good uh, way to like uh, display like a, say a, a list of a certain type of content. So for in my demo, we're going to do taxonomy, but then inside is going to be our movies, which are then filtered by taxonomy. So it's kind of interesting because you can't really do that together in one view, but you can do it in two views. And some use cases are lists within lists. Um, so of course, if you had like a a list, say, paginating on like 10 items, and then you have a list of, say, four inside of each of those list items, it would be kind of a neat thing to do. And I also thought maybe you could put that in tabs. So you have a view with multiple views inside of it, and each of those views are tab, like a tab structure, but they could have different content, different layouts. Um, so that'd be kind of neat too. And some real life ex uh, examples to have. Real quick. I mean, everyone's probably been on like Best Buy and stuff, so you can kind of see how they're like, they got a list here, but they're all like, you know, this is a four inside of a larger list, and this is also a four. So you can kind of see how we're, we're showing there's a bigger list, but inside we have sub lists that have their own list of content. So this is their own content type. And now we'll walk through a demo. So I already have, so we're gonna be using our Drupal Flicks that we just made, but I have a super Drupal Flicks already made, just starting base. So we can count them up. So right now, this guy just has tax on it. But you're like, why don't I want uh, my movies by taxonomy? And then you think, I could group them by taxonomy, sure. But how do you control how many movies are in my sublist? Because if you just group by taxonomy, you'd have all of those movies. But this way, we can kind of control, say, we want so much taxonomy showing and so much inner list showing, which is kind of like the power we're getting at. So. Duplicate him as an attachment. And we're going to hide the movie category because we will have the movie, movie category displayed. So, okay. We're going to change this page in. Actually, I'll show you when it looks like that. Okay. So you can see, pick your view. Uh, so we're going to pick our super or super flick. And I do know that this is a little buggy when you you add it, so it's not me. It is in fact the module. So you can add your Drupal flicks. And we're going to then add our display. So we just added that attachment. Should be saved, I think I think it is. Sure. Okay. So if we save that, just as it is right now, and we're gonna view our page. We got our our sub list showing in our big list because you, as you can see, all it was showing is taxonomy term and the other list. The other view, rather. So this is just all of the movies we have under one category because it does not sort them. So it's just showing the whole view at the, all at the same time. So why don't we filter this? So as you can maybe notice in here, we have a contextual filter spot. So what we want to do is we add a term ID. We're going to exclude it. Rearrange 
piece, so I'll grab it. And you just pop that right in there. And you can pass multiple variables in here as well. Uh, I pass a lot of taxonomy term methods because I feel like that's a common use case. So save that. We're going to go back to our Drupalflex so we can put in our contextual filter. they're now using that variable we're passing to then filter the inner list, which is kind of nice. Um, so then you're like, well, well I want to kind of control how much is in there. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go into our group of place. So again, we got two showing with a more link. It's pretty nice. So now you can be like, if I want to display my categories in a nice uh, paginated view, but I only want a certain number of my interviews, then that's what I got. Uh, so it's kind of neat. And then you can you can even make this more link than link to the uh, filter taxonomy if you'd like as well, because you're you are passing the taxonomy. showing how they, they work together. view inside of the child view, you're still running like the child view's query still, like you're running both queries. So I remember uh, an example, so we had a lot of empty children, but the parent doesn't know that the child's empty, right? It just says, I have children, display my children, right? So what I had done, um, which might be, like it, it might be a good uh, um, way to handle it, I, I form or uh, query altered the parent, attached the child view's query to it, and then it then uh, only shows populated children. Um, performance issues, I haven't seen any too much in these, but like I've only used like not super complicated like setups. So my lists were a taxonomy and then like a list of four products in an, an example, and then with a more link, um, and that would link to a full page of taxonomy or a, a product. Sorry. Does that answer your question a little bit? Any other questions? You mentioned that there was, there was a little bug in adding a thing that uses. Have you run across anything else that module that's maybe a little bug? I think I think that's about it. Like I do notice that it's it's kind of odd that when you go to add 
or edit it. So if I take this out again, it's a bit weird. I'm not entirely sure if it's fixed or not. Because when you go to add it, um, oops, uh, and you go to like select your guy, okay, it brings you to an edit or an add field form, which is kind of odd. But if you exit out of it, and then you went to it, and then you try to pick your your content, sometimes it doesn't like that either. It says you have like a weird illegal choice, which is kind of weird. But eventually, you can get it. So it's not too bad. Any other questions? Sorry if I sped through that, <laughs> but it's my first presentation. I'm a little nervous. <laughs>